Chris here from Perma Systems, and I have a Cobb Cabin update for you. We've been getting some awesome work done and uh, made great progress. You can see have these two poles in, and these are actually just uh, telephone poles that were going to be that were, that were being replaced nearby here, and uh, so we got them for free. Uh, fantastic resource and uh, now we have some good free wood to support the roof that will go over our porch and the front of the Cobb cabin house. This window again here is going to be a big sliding glass door and big porch overhang around the house to protect the cob, produce lots of nice shade, stay out of the rain, and have a really nice big outdoor space. So these telephone poles um, we just dug down in the ground, had to take out a big boulder, but dug down and put down some of this recycled concrete. It's just concrete and tile and stuff smashed up really fine. So it makes a really nice strong base for poles like this, uh, just to be sure they don't move anywhere. Uh, so we'll have some beams coming out to these. I'll show you that later, uh, exactly how we're gonna do the porch. And then uh, the other big thing is you can see starting to get these rafters up. These are 24 foot. You can see a good amount of overhang on each side. Again, to shade the house, to protect the cob, you know, just create a really nice cool microclimate uh, since we have so many hot days here. Let's take a look. You can see um, that we ran these from cob wall to cob wall and they're just um, sitting in the cob. Doesn't look like it here, and this one isn't, but most of them, um, you can see, are just sitting on mounds of cob directly. Uh, so it makes it really simple. And then we just span across here, put some blocks in, and uh, we'll keep this going all the way around, putting some more cob up. You can see we started the water tank. There's gonna be a 300 gallon ferro cement water tank, just like the ones I make for rainwater harvesting. And we're gonna actually incorporate one into the wall here. So all the water from this roof will go right into this tank and save it for when we need it. And then the overflow from the house will go back to the food forest and give water to our plants and build nice, healthy soil. So yeah, I wanted to give you that little update. And then uh, while we're here, let me climb up and just show you top of the roof if you want. Kind of a neat view, to say the least. You can kind of get an idea of when you're up. This is all gonna be a big patio on the roof. So this will be the beautiful view. You can see sitting up above the chaparral and the oak trees and the growing food forest. So yeah, great work and uh, thanks for checking in. Bye.